What's up everybody, it's me Nick here, coming to you guys with another video, and uh, I have a package here from my good friend Danny Bryant, um, better known on YouTube as Dan the Beast 94 uh, <coughs> excuse me, there will be a link in the description below, go check him out, he just started YouTube a few weeks ago, uh, very nice guy, um, let's try to bump up his subscribers, he's at like 17 right now i know i don't have many myself but if we can get him to like 50 uh you know that would be cool so um I have a package here from him basically um we had met at a northeast wrestling show i had talked about this in my funny story but i'll mention it again we had met at a northeast wrestling show uh just a little over a year ago and um because i thought he looked like another youtuber uh, DB, the DVD freak, so I thought it was him, and I got him confused with him, uh, but go check it out for more information, um, and ironically enough, a year later, there was another Northeast Wrestling show, I didn't get to go to this one, unfortunately, because I'm dealing with some personal things trying to get through, um, where Brian Pillman Jr. was going to be there, and that's the reason I went last year, to because I really wanted to meet Brian Pillman Jr., um, so I was kind of bummed out that I wasn't going to make this show because he was at this show. But then I thought to myself, hmm, Dan's going to the show. Maybe I can ask him to get me an 8x10. And so I asked him if he could do that. And he very graciously and, um, you know, very coolly accepted it. Um, I paid him back because uh, the autograph was $10. Um, so, I, you know, I, I gave him back the money. Um, so that way, you know, he didn't lose anything. I paid for what I would have paid for had I gone to the event myself. Um, and not only that, I also wanted him to know how much that meant to me that he got me that. So I got, I gave him a Jerry Lawler eight by 10, um, that had, that, I, <clears throat> excuse me, that I had bought from Northeast Wrestling's website about a year ago. Um, cause I have a lot of autographs with Jerry Lawler and he has a few Jerry Lawler autographs himself. Um, although they're not personalized, so um, or they're, they're personalized, so he had an so he didn't have a non personalized one, so that's why I decided to add that on because he's a really nice guy, and I just wanted to show him, you know, that it meant a lot to me because I could have just sent him the the ten dollars and not included the autograph, but I decided to do that just so that way he knew how much uh, that meant to me. So I know I've been rambling on for about three minutes now. I am going to say something. I'm a little concerned about opening this up because um, it's not anything that, you know, this isn't Dan's fault. Uh, it's just I know how the uh, mailing business is, and they really don't care about any of the packages. Um, so they'll just toss things around and whatever. Um, unfortunately, there is no do not bend uh, stickers on here. Um so I'm praying and hoping when I open this up that the picture is not bent. Uh, if it is, you know, it is what it is. Because um, it is, you know, it's not his fault. Um, but it's just that the, the uh, mailing companies, they don't care. They'll just throw things in the back and whatever, you know. I When I send out 8x10s like I did with his, I put in a much bigger uh, box and I put, you know, peanuts in it to protect it because I know how the mailing business can be and they don't care all right you got to put warnings on and whatever so I'm hoping when I open this up it's not bent um that's my only concern but let's open this up I am going to put the camera down I apologize if this is a bad angle what's up I'm gonna do my best to not show his address or mine so let's take a look and I'm just hoping that it's you know uh nice and clear so here it is let's pull it out yep it's a little bit bent um, just like I thought it might be unfortunately um, it's not bad though um, but it's just uh, you know I just kind of worried about that um, but here it is here is the Brian Pillman autograph right here as you can see there's a little bend um, there which i was a little worried about uh seeing you can see there's little you know things whatever it's not danny's fault um you know it's just the mail companies they don't care um you know they'll they'll just uh you know um 
doing whatever, but you got a nice, you know, goal autograph there, and then you got the heart, and you obviously got Brian, you know, with the heart symbol there, legend of the uh, great, late, great Brian Pillman, um, who died in 97, had a kid a few years before uh, he passed away, and now he's continuing in his footsteps. So anyways, thank you, Dan, for this autograph. I really appreciate it, my brother. Um, you know, like I said, not your fault that, you know, there's a little bit of crease marking here or whatever. It's just the mailing companies, you know, they, they just, you know, they don't care. Anyways, guys, peace out.